What's up, YouTube? It's Yardy. I'm that talks. Though we at today, Chappelle funniest interview moments. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow the links in the description, and let's get into it. Do you Absolutely. still get nervous when you do no shows, or is, this is a piece of cake? Shit. Nigga, I did that, my nigga. But one sometimes. time it didn't work out. Yeah, and sometimes it don't work. You know what it's like in Donnell. You can attest to this. When people ask me like, do you get nervous when you go on stage? It's like asking a pilot if he gets nervous before a flight. I might hit some weather. <laughs> That's a yeah, I might, I might some weather, but but I feel like normally we, we land the plane. I, I don't think we've ever not landed. Maybe Detroit, but other than that, that was time. You know, being a celebrity, your your realm of getting in trouble is is worse than the average person. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like the average dude got to go out and look for trouble. I'd be sitting around mind my own business, and dude come up, hey man, you're Dave Chappelle. I'm like, yeah, what's up, man? It's, Hey, I got 12 naked bitches in a hot air balloon. You trying to roll with me? <laughs> hey, shit. Come to me with that troll. I don't want that troll. What are you talking about? <laughs> I saw your baby. Very nice. We got babies. How old's the baby now? He got, he's 18 months now. Oh, that's very cool. He can't quite talk yet, but that's what I'm waiting for. Yeah, yeah. For him to talk. Yeah. Because when have you ever had a conversation with a guy that lived in your balls, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Good night, everybody. See you next week. Thank you. The vagina is stronger than money. Stronger than money. Yes. God damn, how long Conan been on TV? Like, I thought this show just came out of some shit. I would, if I could, I'd put one in my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> I would get a whole what? new wardrobe. <laughs> and then I'd go to pay for it and say, this is going to be cash or charge. And I'd say, I'll pay with my vagina. <laughs> you just take that in the bank and process it. <laughs> In having this discussion not so very long ago with uh, Jerry Seinfeld, he said that when he's in a situation where he senses that things are not going his way is when all he does is rely on the material. He doesn't worry about anything else. He just goes right on with his material, and sooner or later he will prevail. Do you, do you have that experience? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> I feel very lucky that I got to know him. Mm -hmm. I feel like he's a very large part of the reason that I got to be successful. Like literally, he changed my life Ooh. just by saying, I fought Rick James many times. We were all like, what? He <laughs> fuck Rick James. Fought, fought Rick James. Oh, oh, I I mean. <laughs> <laughs> See how they try to, to construe some shit up? Charlemagne, <laughs> Jesus, I know, I know. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> what Whoa, like, whoa, whoa. Let's get him around off the rails. This is insane to have you do I'm not losing control, I hope not. It's too late, it's too late now. <laughs> yeah, don't, yeah, don't lose. Hey, bro, these side sketches on Jimmy Fallon is goaded, bro. I'm just gonna be funny for real. Sure. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I learned about that? I didn't know they called cigarettes fags over there. <laughs> yeah, you gotta kind of know that before you go. Yeah, yeah, I was in a bar and a guy came up to me. I'm dying for a fag. Like, ugh, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why are you telling me this? Like, am I in the wrong bar? <laughs> so, did you go to a psychiatric hospital? In South Africa? Yeah. Who? Who? <laughs> I'm only Who asking. Who's going to South Africa to go to a hospital, nigga? Nigga, we got that shit over here. Yeah, Just, okay. I got to get people thinking, all right, who goes from America to Africa for medical attention? <laughs> <laughs> I don't normally do this, but it was Jessica Simpson. I said, let me just see, you know, what's going on. So I, I went up, I'm like, uh, hi, Jessica Simpson. Uh, I didn't know what to say. I'm like, my name's Dave Chappelle. I was like, I I'm on TV too. Yeah. <laughs> and she was like, I know who you are. And I was like, I knew it, bitch. I didn't say that to her. <laughs> I didn't say that to her. Yes, little motherfucker know me. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened? You get out of the police station. Well, I go there, you know, I, the fear is that, you know, the police, you don't want to go in there because, oh, well, you want to put a prescription, why don't you come back here and we'll process it. <laughs> 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 I, 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 I don't want to get put in the lineup, you know. <laughs> you, you know the lineup. I know the lineup, yeah. And especially if it's one of them good lineups where all the guys kind of look like you. He'd be in the lineup, like, oh my God, they do kind of look like me. Yeah. <laughs> Were you actually in the lineup? Oh, yeah, I've been in the lineup before. I would try to change my face and stuff like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and a lady actually almost picked me. She was like, wait a minute, this guy, he, he looks familiar. It's like, bitch, I've been on television. Be careful, man. <laughs> <laughs> The reason most Bruh. people have a show and then don't have a show is because they say, well, we don't want you to have a show anymore. 
But that wasn't the case here. The case here was you said, I guess you said, I don't want your show anymore, and you uh, took a hike. It, and, and it's you re worse really than took that. A, it's worse. Yeah. Well, now, are you tired of talking about it? It's 10 I years, of course you're tired I of talking about it. I don't talk about it. It's I like, see. you know, I just, you know. Listen, here it is. Technically, I never quit. I'm seven years late for work. <laughs> how, how old is your nice baby? Oh, yeah. How old is your baby? She's two. Oh, okay. She's yeah. too old for my baby to fight. <laughs> <laughs> fight? Yeah. What are you talking about? I like baby fights. I like to put them in, I like to have them in there with other babies and just mix it up. She's the wrong <laughs> yeah. The whole Black History Month, I was down up. south. And it was crazy. I was scared to go, you know. Mm -hmm. And I got there and it was not scary at all. It was mm -hmm. nice there. Right. And uh, I mean, not to say they don't have racism, but they're comfortable with their racism. Right. 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 You know, right. You know morning, nigger. Morning, sir. Boy, that was good. <laughs> My son's back then. I have another son that's coming. Nah, nah. I'm down, so. You say this, and we, we coming on your porch. Please, <laughs> somewhere. This weekend. You coming on your porch, yeah. knocking yes, on your door. We're going to have a swell time. Do they enjoy living, uh. Do they, do they enjoy living in Ohio? Yeah, they don't know any different. Like, they love it. They. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he didn't mean it like that. He didn't mean it like that. <laughs> <laughs> when I sat back down, as a matter of fact, I was finishing my soup up, and she was leaving. This was crazy. She came up to me as she was leaving. She was like, bye, Dave Chappelle. It's nice to meet you. And she, she gave me some, some sugar. Just a little. She, she gave you a kiss? Yeah, which was crazy. Because I opened my mouth a little bit. I had. I, had, <laughs> I look at it like this. I'm at a restaurant with my boy. wife. It's a nice restaurant. If you can get an offer letter, why this today, ad I is running? Subscribe to the channel, like, comment, and subscribe, my boy. Subscribe. Feel free to hire better, subscribe faster, to with Bamboo HR. Don't even listen Click to the ad. Click below for a free trial now. Subscribe to the channel. Just enter. Subscribe. Seriously? Subscribe. Subscribe right now. We're eating dinner. I look across the room. I say, you see this guy over here across the room? He has a hundred million dollars, and we're eating the same entree. Uh, so, okay, fine. I don't have $50 million or whatever it was. But say I have $10 million in the bank. Uh, the difference in lifestyle is minuscule. Um, the only difference between having $10 million and $50 million is an astounding $40 million. No cap, like, 10 million. All right. And the house is going to be about the same. You ain't going to blow too much on the house. You didn't yeah, a bigger house for just you to sleep in. That's the only difference. <laughs> for a million dollars How old were you when you started? I was 14. Your mom let you go gig at 14? She said, take me in the beginning. <laughs> I can't really say it on television. She would critique my act on the drive home, which was a very long ride. You don't want to hear your mom say, like, those <laughs> jokes need to be cut and all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I was in Portland, uh, Maine. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. do, you remember, do you remember that? And, <laughs> yeah. I, and I was walking in a mall, Bro, and I guess you guys had okay. been there an hour before me, so they just thought I was like a lost route. They were like, and lost route. I think I was it. You made your first TV development deal. Nineteen. My mother and my grandmother were freaked out. You know, I was the first person in my family not to go to college that had not been. A slave. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so I was really breaking from tradition. And uh, it was like a graduation lunch we were having. And they had my dad come and talk to me. And my dad takes me outside. And he's like, listen, and this is some advice that applies to all you acting students. He says, to be an actor is a lonely life. Everybody wants to make it. And you might not make it. And I said to my Man, dad, well, well that depends this. on what making it is there. It was smart, smart ass kid. Yeah. Right. Depends on what making it is there. He says, what do you mean? I said, well, you're a teacher. I said, if I could make a teacher salary doing comedy, I think that's better than being a teacher. And he started laughing. He said, if you keep that attitude, I think you should go. He said, but name your price in the beginning. 
If it ever gets more expensive than the price you name, get out of there. Mm -hmm. Thus, Africa. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the end of the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Shout out to Dave Chappelle. I'm Yachty. I'm out. All praise to the Most High.